I had a small experience and the story goes like this. Uh, I got myself a few weeks ago uh, in one of those uh, electric uh, scooters to uh, go around from place to place. I seriously dislike uh, public transport in Israel. It's very, very uh, bad. That's the way to call it. It's very bad. It's uh, two weeks old. Uh, it's got an electric motor. It goes uh, for 30 kilometers. It drives uh, 25 uh, kilometers an hour, which is plenty enough for uh, just going on the street. It's very fast. Uh, you, do, you wouldn't want to go much faster than this, especially if you have ever been to Israel, you would probably have uh, seen that the roads are not that good and also the sidewalks are not, uh, not that good. On top of that, there is a, a state rule that says that if there is a bike lane, you have to go on the back lane and if there isn't one, you have to go on the road. Every 500 meters or less, you have a, a, a junction and they don't do the, the, the mix between the sidewalk and the junction and the, the bike lane. It's, uh, usually you will have some t type of a hole or uh, the, the, the slope, when they make the slope, they just don't do it very, uh, they do it very poorly. You're not very safe when you go on the sidewalk. It's always very interesting to uh, travel. And the story goes like this. I've been driving minding my own business and I was trying to apply the brake to stop because you know sometimes you need to stop and uh, there is the electric uh, motor on the front wheel uh, to recharge the battery and maybe uh, get a little bit more uh, kilometers from the battery I don't know how effective it is for, but uh, nonetheless I applied the brake and the electric motor was trying to uh, gather energy and providing friction and doing, uh, producing a, a braking force but I didn't reach a full stop and uh, tried it. I went into test pilot mode and just tried it out a little bit and I couldn't make the uh, scooter uh, stop when I needed it. So I've been looking around from side to side and uh, for my amazement uh, a piece of the back wheel brake, which is a disc uh, brake, uh, snapped off. There is a, there's the disc brake and there is a two metal plates, I don't know exactly how you call them in English, and when you apply uh, the brake, there is a cable that uh, applies a force on the disc brake and it clamps on the top of it and produces, a, a basically gets you to a stop. People that import the scooter uh, are based uh, a few kilometers away from where I originally got the scooter. So I jumped on it and without brakes, uh, they, people there, uh, there was a little line, some people came to uh, have service for their scooters. And uh, once uh, my turn uh, arrived, they uh, looked at the brake, they were also extremely surprised. And uh, the guy that uh, gave me the service just looked at the scooter, told me, you don't have a brake at the moment? I told him I don't have a brake at the moment. He just went to the other room. It looked like he took the piece from a different scooter that was uh, standing by, because it didn't look like he had any spare parts. And he just uh, reattached the missing piece and off I went on my way. And, and that was uh, very good because uh, after I finished the original uh, shop, I was a little bit depressed, the shop that I bought the scooter from and not having the service that uh, I was uh, expecting for the uh, device I purchased was a little bit concerning. I, was, uh, I thought maybe I did a mistake and I shouldn't uh, have gotten this one and perhaps I should have re uh, put a little bit more money and uh, bought a, a different brand that I know that exists in Israel that gives you a lifetime warranty on the scooter. So I was a little bit concerned at the moment, at that moment, but uh, after going to the original uh, uh, supplier of the uh, scooters, uh, I got my hopes back in order, checked. I got my feelings in checked, more or less. This is just a small story about my experience and uh, some uh, something that perhaps if you are uh, uh, thinking about uh, 
purchasing uh, the scooter, uh, you should know that it is extremely uh, nice and very. Uh, and it is extremely nice. It gets a lot of attention. A lot of people uh, respond to it. They say that it looks nice. That it uh, that they want one just because the way it looks. But my story comes to uh, add that also you should know uh, that wherever you get this scooter from, that they have uh, also uh, spare parts for it and uh, that they uh, know how to give you service. I use it extensively. I mean, for two weeks having almost 250 kilometers is quite a, a lot. And also considering the extremely bad roads that we have, the scooter is going through a lot. It really given me a new uh, uh, way of traveling, which I extremely enjoy. Uh, being a part of uh, electric transportation, uh, not, you know, which basically means that you uh, clean the air where you live and you put the, put the production of electricity somewhere where uh, people are poorer than you and you are just uh, uh, feeling better although you're being a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, that's it.